Hi everybody, uh, this is Shireen from Ace Law and I'm gonna, uh, you know, discuss about few quick question that I've really got uh, a lot on my social media messages and people are asking about uh, what is going to happen, what is the future forcibility of uh, immigration processing as well as uh, the federal skills worker program draw now as you must have guys all known that there has been a 1.8 million application backlog out of which 700 something is uh, related to study permits and work visas and the balance is now with the express entry and visitor so the express entry pool also they are trying to clear out through cec class or through the province nomination like recently on 10th december there was a huge pnp draw but that pnp also is you know a matter of luck as to where and how you got it but it is all employer based so you have to realize that a lot of these uh, you know a lot of these province nominations be it bcbs manitoba be it anybody it's employer based uh, the only thing some only some you know some programs are left like really really skill based a lot is dependent on job offer in canada so uh, now what i'm uh, according to my statistics uh, and my understanding of the whole data is in front of me is that um, FSW draw obviously some people have this myth that it has stopped no uh, it has not stopped it is only closed due to border restrictions and pending applications uh, although even if you write urgent on the application it is now falling on to deaf ears so we, me as a lawyer I'm really concerned and I'm every day trying to get in touch with the you know the relevant ministry the relevant kind of people in there and trying to ask them what is the status so as per the latest uh, status update that I've got from my resources is that there is going to be an FSW draw very soon in 2022 in the first quarter. Now, not very sure of how far this information can go through because with immigration right now, you can actually, uh, you know, depend on nothing. So um, for all the people waiting out there, I know it's a tough time, but believe me, there is a pending application delay or processing delay of all Canadian high commissions uh, throughout the world, except few of the countries which have really tackled the uh, well uh, in terms of uae for example qatar for example you know gulf has been a little betterly handled and hence uh, iran has been very good and uh, ministry is working really fast the uh, embassy so the, uh, but like for example india it is a huge backlog because new delhi office bangalore office all shut and working from home even till day because the wave was also so bad so right now i understand the, the you know the dms that i'm getting i do understand people are really um, getting very much uh, uh, agitated about this fact but um, hold your hands hold your horses and i'm sure everything in 2022 should 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 figure out in a much better way so keep watching and i'm gonna now make small small short videos updating you about any of the important cases any of the important information that i get about immigration or any other relevant topic thank you